Let's get on with the details of those stories now. The national chief imam has been defending his decision to join Christians in church on Easter Sunday and is cautioned against any wage of war on innocent people in the name of religion. Sheikh Usman, uh, Usman Sharabutu says there is nothing wrong for Muslims to show love and kindness to their Christian counterparts. Acrimony, violence and killing of innocent souls in the name of Islam, according to the national chief imam, has no place in al Hazar's religion of Islam. There is an exclusive interview that he's granted my colleague Latif Idrisu. But first, let's look at the story so far. We start with the visit of the church itself. Here is Maxwell Agbaba with our story. Easter is largely a Christian celebration, but the man who is leader of all Muslims paid the church a visit on this day. Parish priest of Christ the King Catholic Church describes the gesture as evidence of brotherliness in a country of mixed religion. It shows a, a sign of unity, a sign of togetherness, that we're all living in harmony with one another. Uh, it was really significant, sorry, significant for us that he should pick Christ the King to come here and this for birthday blessing. Because at the end of the, uh, when he spoke, I gave him a special blessing on behalf of the whole church. So to me, it was a very significant that the chief of man could, could come here and think of us, you know, the Catholic Church on his 100th birthday. And it was very symbolic for us. It certainly was a history making for us that he should come. And we were so happy and so grateful to him for this. One thing which remains a threat to the country's development is corruption. Father Campbell finds Easter an opportunity to reiterate the need to rise above corruption. So this was how the story, this is actually how the story started yesterday. A visit by the chief imam to Christ the King uh, Catholic Church. Well, there have been very interesting uh, comments on the back of this. Some people have criticized the chief imam for doing so. Well, some pastors say this is the right thing to do to foster peaceful coexistence of both Christians and Muslims. Let me take you to Kumasi, where Nanaya Asensu has a report from one of the religious leaders there and his position on this. Sheikh Osman Nuhu Shaributu visited the church as part of his 100th birthday celebration. A visit Apostle Samuel Frimpong describes as rare but positive. He believes differences in religious sects should not prevent various religious bodies from living together in peace. Action goes a long way to characterize our dear country, Ghana. The religions are at peace with themselves. If Christians are at peace with themselves, they can extend the peace to other religions. And we give thanks to God that Muslims in Ghana are at peace with themselves. And I commend the chief imam for stepping out of his faith to visit other faith-based organizations to show that we are one and we are serving God in different capacities. He also expressed sadness at the bombing of some churches in Sri Lanka, resulting in death of over 100 people with others injured. Apostle Frimpong wants Christians to be ambassadors of peace in their communities. We receive this message with much sadness and we pray for them and wish them well. Those who lost their family members, wish them well and extend the comfort of the Holy Spirit to encourage them in this time of difficulty. We also pray for the nation that the peace of God that we enjoy in Ghana will be extended to them. But above all, we must learn some lessons from it. That a nation at peace with itself doesn't experience this horror. Therefore, we pray and encourage Ghanaians to love this nation, to sacrifice for this nation, and to be each other's keeper. The Easter convention was characterized by singing and dancing. Congregants were clad in white, signifying resurrection of Jesus Christ. Nana Ojima reporting. 
So that is a position of one of the churches in Kumasi about the chief imam's visit to the church. But not everybody has taken kindly to it. Uh, let me bring you some thoughts on Facebook so, uh, where people have expressed criticism about the act. Well, this one says, it's at Miss O2 says, honestly, the chief imam deserves all the praise. Well, this is actually one of the uh, those that commend him. Deserves all the praise uh, on his birthday, on Tuesday and any other day. He brought such a positive energy to the Easter highlight of the Easter and hashtag uh, leadership. The National Chief Imam's visit to the Christ the King Church in Accra to climb us his 100th year birthday has actually left a great lesson for every religion in this world. I personally has, ha, have learned a lot from it. And this one says Chief Imam visited Christ the King Church as part of 100 years. So basically they put the picture there and um, it goes on and on. The visit of the National Chief Imam to the Christ the King Easter is a strong statement symbolic of peaceful, peaceful coexistence and religious tolerance. And this one says, whichever way you look at it, the gesture of the chief, of great leadership by his eminence Chief Imam, I've personally respected this leader in Ghana ever since I grew to hear of him first. Nothing degenerative has been associated with his name to the best of my knowledge. And I am always happy when seeing a chief imam um, congregate, congregating shoulder to shoulder with Christians. God bless your 100th anniversary. I love that the chief imam uh, went to church today. I do respect this step. The question is, can some pastors do the same? I've always been saying Jews, Christians, Muslims, some Abrahamic WhatsApp group. Well, uh, same Abrahamic WhatsApp group. Uh, he puts it, Tokumbo. That's uh, Tokumbo who is tweeting there. Well, happy birthday from Kukusinti Misa says, Happy birthday, noble chief imam. I believe that no one religion can claim a monopoly of God. Thanks for validating what some of us have always believed. Um, this one says, uh, God is indeed whatever men take him to be. Kudos to the chief imam for leaving his symbolic legacy for us. Save yourself from religion. That's how... Uh, this gentleman puts this. This one says, I agree. Panji says, I agree. Chief Imam Traiwa, his hundred years on earth, opening eye, peace and love. Well, these are some of the very good comments that have come on the back of that visit, but not everybody thinks so. There are apparently are some clerics, uh, some uh, Muslim clerics who believe that it doesn't necessarily sit well uh, with Islam. Well, as I said, there has been defense from the chief imam's office. His personal assistant has been speaking to Daniel Dazi on news desk. Many Christian clergy in this country, uh, including the top so the top Christian leaders that you, you, you know of. Right. Uh, so the chief imam has decided to solidarize with them during the, during the Easter festivities, which has also coincided with his 100 years anniversary, uh, to show right. appreciation mm. uh, to what they have also been, they have been doing to him. Uh, so the visit is more or less, you know, a solidarity visit uh, you know, to promote peaceful coexistence between Muslims and Christians. The fact that I'm coming to learn about your religion, whether in school or at church, doesn't mean that I'm practicing your religion. Mm. Uh, chief Imam had visited the church yesterday, and he's, he's, he's still a chief Imam. He's a Muslim today. We have observed a few comments on social media with some Muslims expressing some uh, misconfort, if, if I can use that expression, with this gesture. Has that come to your notice? Have you had uh, Muslims, for instance, tell you oh, how yes. uncomfortable they are? Oh, yes, of course. We, we have encountered that this is not the first time. Uh, the chief imam allowed Dr. Mensah Otabel to paint to finance the painting of the cent our central mosque. And it was the same thing we came and uh, people lambasted him, people call him names. You know, after 10 years today, some people are seeing the wisdom in doing that. People ask any Muslim that what has the chief imam prayed in Islam? What in the fundamentals, five fundamentals, uh, uh, fundamentals of Islam, which one has he prayed? Has he walked? And you will find none. But it's so, Right. You know, it, 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 it's quite, uh, so should we should we Aladi expect more of these visits in the future? Oh, certainly. 
certainly yes. I'll send you an yes. invite when I'm going to church on Sunday. Uh, please, uh, please, uh, you know, I'm, you're so much, uh, you know, I'm so much looking forward to it. Alaji Usman there, who is a peer to the national chief imam, speaking to Daniel Dazi earlier on news desk. In fact, he says that the chief imam has received a lot of invitations. The chief imam himself has received a lot of uh, visitors who happen to be leaders of the Christian uh, religion. He says that this was just a reciprocal visit. So what does the chief imam himself, the man celebrating his birthday tomorrow, his 100th birthday tomorrow, uh, what does he have to say about this? He's been, uh, he's granted us exclusive, an exclusive interview. My colleague Latif Idrisu has that interview. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Astaghfirullah. 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 What's, what's the message for the Muslim community as he attains 100? When Allah but <laughs> My message to the Muslim community is that God has not forbidden you to live in peace with innocent people of other faiths. And Allah says in his holy book that all of mankind are from Adam and Eve, and he did not create us to fight among ourselves. He created us equal to interact among ourselves and do business. And so there is no justification for any Muslim to attack a non-believer who has not provoked him in any way whatsoever. We have to live in peace with people of other faith to ensure all peace. Allah <laughs> Um, he grew up, I mean, in a madrasa, that's what she just said. But did you see, did you see yourself becoming the national chief imam of the Republic of this country? Talk about the imamship. I must say today, right now. That I did not want to be an imam simply because growing up, all I wanted to do was to teach like my father did. And I felt that taking up the imamship 
would somewhat hinder my work, so I didn't want to be an imam. In fact, my father also advised me not to take up imamship for the same reason. But, you know, once Allah has ordained, there was nothing I could have done when I was chosen to lead the Muslim community in Ghana. Okay, so uh, my name is, is 100. That is a huge milestone for not just the country, but for the Muslim community. Uh, I'm asking Malam, growing up, what, what was his outlook of life growing up? Natashi <laughs> Tukuma manama manta stalin. Takano wala nga gudabu nga natasa. Na ikaratu. Bahan na ikaratu. Sanang kuma nasadu da mala mina mala awdu dantanu akumashi. Baba na ikaymuka nida tamuwa na mala haruna. Rashid. Muka jukumashi. Muka ikaratu kamashi karabiyo. I grew up in a home of scholars. My father was a malam, malam in the right sense of the word. He taught a good number of Muslim scholars in this country. After learning the Quran from my father, I was transferred to Kumasi in the Ashanti region under the tutelage of malam Audu Dantano. He was the best around that time in the region. Together with my friend Haruna, we spent two years learning the fundamentals of the religion. After a while, I started seeing revelations and signs of what God had for me. Bamichi <laughs> Ibrahim. <laughs> It was strange to me initially that whatever consecration thought that crossed my mind manifested in real life. It was regardless of the thought, good or bad. Whatever I thought about came to pass. And at that point, I realized God had a special plan for me. I was divinely inspired to follow the ways of Allah. I also saw signs of protection in the sense that not even bed bats stung me, even when others are stung on the same bed. Mm -hmm. 
so we would also want to find out from Malam uh, what does he make of the current status of the country and going forward what does he want to see in the nearest future for, for the country within the political space and also when they talk of socio-economic development. I want to urge the Muslim community and the general population to put good deeds at the forefront of their lives. That is the surest way of achieving greatness. Bad deeds will not yield any good results for the nation. So I urge all of us to do good unto others and serve well, regardless of where you find yourself. It's growing up, fond memories with friends and colleagues. And where was this? The fond memories, I would say, has to do with the fact that back in the day at the madrasat, my father taught us drama. We performed drama in the Arabic language during the period of study. That was to inspire and motivate us to even learn the Arabic language the more. Those performances at the time laid the foundation for the formation of drama troupe and the beginning of concert in Ghana. We laid the foundation for the famous town hall concert here in Accra, which subsequently spread to other parts of the country. So, so you joined the concerts. Did you have at the back of your mind to, to be in the entertainment industry? Not necessarily to join the entertainment industry, but the brain behind the concert that we started was to motivate and inspire us to learn how to speak the Arabic language whilst learning to read the Quran. It wasn't to prepare us to get into the entertainment industry. But that concept that we started laid the foundation for the famous town hall that we had in Accra, which later was replicated across the other regions of the country. Amen. <laughs> Surna, 
حفظنا ولا تلجينا فإنك على كل شيء قدير يا أقدر القادرين ويا أثر الحاسبين اللهم أنت أمرتنا بدعائك ووعدتنا بإجابتك وقد دعوناك كما أمرتنا فأجبنا كما وعدتنا يا ذا الجلال والكرام إنك لا تخلف المئات اللهم ما قدرتنا من حيرك وشرعنا فيه بتوفيقك وتيسيرك وتمم لنا بأحسن الوجوه كلها وأسوى بها وأسفها فإنك على ما تشاء قدير ونيم المولى ونيم النسير اللهم إنا نسألك بما وارت وجب جلالك من سبحات وجهك التي لو زهرت للوجود لتدك لك الوجود وانا لك وثار مال العدم أسألك في تلك سبحات وجلالتها وعظمتها أن تسلي وتسلم على سجدنا محمد وأن تجعل بلدنا غانا بلدنا آمنا مطمئنا وسائر البلدان سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يسلم وسلام على المسلم صلوا على النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم Chief Imam uh, Sheikh Nuhu, National Chief Imam Sheikh Nuhu Sharubutu, there who turns 100 tomorrow, speaking with us in that exclusive interview with my colleague Latif Idrisu. Essentially, he's saying peaceful coexistence is the way that a country can become great if that country is really serious about uh, that greatness. In the end of the conversation, he prays uh, for the country as well. And we wish him a very happy birthday in advance as it comes tomorrow.